Hey, welcome back. Last time, my ESC died. This is a Techno MT410 version one, and I have the Max 8 G2 right here. Had it for about two years, and it's been awesome. I have beat the living hell out of it. Ran it in the water, ran it in the dirt, in the snow, in the cold, in the hot. Jumped it here and there and generally just beat it up. I got my uh, money's worth out of that, I think. And Hobbywing has a repair replace program where you can send them in your broken ESC and they'll give you a discount on a new one. And this one, because I'm in Canada, I guess they didn't need me to send it back in and it's discontinued. So they sent me a nice new G2S uh, at a nice discount and sent it super fast, which was awesome. So we're gonna throw this in here and then do some testing and see what it's like. All right. Hmm. All right, looks pretty good. Usual hobby wing quality. I only run one battery, so I'm gonna have to take this double battery plug off. Oh, they're pretty much exactly the same size. So that's nice. They should fit in to the same spot easily. While I have the old one out, you can see how I have the ESC mount set up. So bolt this on like that, and then it can fit because if it goes this way, this wire has to stick out. And as you can see, it doesn't really fit in there. So that was my solution. You can also mount it back here or over here, but I like having it up there and it worked for two years with no problem. It is probably better for them to be sitting flat because that's kind of how they're designed to take impacts, but there's just no room in this thing. They should have made this just a teeny bit wider. Oh, we should probably calibrate it. Oh weird, this doesn't have a second button. How do we calibrate it? All right, so apparently you just hold the button down to go into mode mode. So first let's turn it on. All right, it's blinking red. That's not a good sign. Let's try it with a different battery. That battery had a storage charge on it, so it should have been fine, but let's see. Still nothing working though. That works. The throttle. So are we connected? Yes, we are connected. Okay, that's new. Oh, now we're in setup mode, finally. All right. Uh, all right, that's good news. Well, it seems to be working. Weird. So, I don't know what was going on there, but if you have those kind of problems, I guess just keep turning it on and off until it goes into program mode. Uh, neutral, push the button, full throttle, push the button, reverse, pull the button. And good to go. Let's see how it runs. Let's see how it goes on the dirt pile, on the jumps, and the bashing, and the smashing. All right, let's test this thing out. New ESC time. First thing that's good, the old ESC would go in kind of a weird slow mode for a few seconds after you turned it on. This one doesn't do that. All right, let's go do some jumping. good so far. Time to go for the gap. Oh, we got lots of batteries. I haven't tried this with the Techno yet. Take off here and go over this whole pile. I hope and land down here. That's the plan. Let's see if it can do it. Just such a short run in. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if that counts, but kind of neat. <laughs> Does that count? I don't know if I can get any further. <laughs> of 
close. Cozy Tofu basically got that far. So, I don't know if it's possible. The trajectory just might not be right. That was cool. All right, I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> oh, that basically counts. It landed down there. <laughs> Wait, front flip. So far, it's working great. Just like the old one, except it's not doing any of the annoying stuff the old one used to do. All right, love it. Oh, that just barely made it around. <laughs> oh, let's try the other one. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, not too hot. Actually, let's do a little test here. I'm gonna go away so it's not so loud. Let's see what kind of temps this thing has got. It's supposed to have data logging. All right, connected. Keep recording, car. Oh, cool. All right, what do we got here? Max temp. Oh yeah, so 150, 180, that's not too bad. Battery voltage is good, 34,000 RPM. All right, well, this is neat. This is great. You don't need any extra modules or anything. Free app, works pretty good. Very cool. Disconnect. Couple more. Maybe I'll be able to do this one better now. Get right over it. Ooh, nasty. Oh, that looks a little crooked, a little saggy. Oh no, what happened? Oh, I got a broken shock. Oh, well, that's not too out of the question. All right, well, had this truck over two years. That's the, only the second time I've ever done that. Both of them have been on really nasty bales. And otherwise, I effing love this thing. I'm so bummed they stopped making it. I really hope that they're just waiting to come out with a V2, big V2, a V1 V2. Anyways, that ESC works awesome. Temps were good. Ran it till I broke something and let's take a look at the mounting. All right, let's see how my mounting setup worked out. Oh, that's so, so sad. So this thing has these mounting holes they're pretty small, they're for little M3 screws. So I made them a little bigger so that I could fit M4s, but I kind of f***ed it up because I don't have a good blind tap. So I had to uh, make it even bigger. So now I got this giant one on there. Ugh. But stayed really solid, no troubles there. It got to full temperature. I took some good hits with it and well, obviously broke something. So I'm gonna call this a big old win. The Bluetooth works great, it's super nice get one. Plus, if you have an old ESC, whether it works or not, whatever the hell it is, it doesn't matter, send it to them. They'll give you a discount on a new one. It's pretty awesome. We will see you next time. Maybe do a controller review. Also, these shirts are for sale. Link in the description. Yeah.